that aren't yet able to be in RLCS because you know that's where the hidden gems are at. And you see people in chat talking about it right now. Swift is a 14-year-old player from Brazil. This is your first time seeing Swift play or a Brazilian player play on US East. They do play these show matches with 140 ping. 140 ping for Swift. Toxic has 80, which is not ideal for him. Obviously, he's used to playing on EU servers at around 20, I would imagine, since he is from England. But he has met in the middle here at least a few different South American 2v2 show matches in which Swift was featured. We wanted to get him in next gen. If you guys know, we do a tournament on this channel. You can check back on the YouTube that has all the upcoming players. He actually even played in a next gen. Uh, or at least, yeah, no, I think he did play in next gen. So lots of top players have made their way through these next gen tournaments. Uh, when I was listening to Chotcast last night, was it? Or two nights ago? I think it might have been last night. It was interesting to hear Farah talking about Zen and his 1v1 show matches and how they were actually very relevant into the talent assessment when it came to the decision to add Zen to the roster. Able to starve out Toxic as Toxic grabbed that corner boost from him. A crucial corner boost. As Swift gets a save, we'll be able to reset on the 100 after it respawns for him. This long shot is past Toxic, so that'll be a tie game. And Swift, a big challenge, actually just got him a very free possession. The wave dash will be caught by Toxic, who is not only going to save this off the back wall, but is going to set himself up the other way. Swift doesn't have the respawn, not in time. It'd be interesting to see. Huge delay by both these guys as Swift tries his best to cheese the kickoff in order to catch the lead back up. Number one, kept close by Swift until Toxic was able to take it away. So we didn't give him an easy debuting uh, opponent. We are not letting him waltz his way into the 1v1 scene, as far away from the play as possible, which means Swift gets a bit of space and goes to the air. First time we've seen him go to the air, and he's gonna go for the bump. If a passive bump though, often you have to be much more aggressive with the speed. Look at Swift off the ceiling! Look at this shot! Swift showing you what he can do if you're wondering whether or not you want to be a Swift fan. Well, here's a good example of what he has in store as he, he is the guy that is a trial by fire in terms of 1v1 knowledge. And here he's going to pick apart Swift with just a simple um, slowdown of the play and then just chips the bounce a little fake and especially taking advantage of what might be a bit of nerves to start the series. Swift is going to go for the bump this time. A much more aggressive bump attempt, but when he doesn't connect, you see the frustration wiggle on the camera. He knows that he's not making it back in time unless Toxic trolls. Toxic, I wasn't watching from his perspective, but it did seem like he should have been able to score that. Instead, he's going to go low 50. Toxic backs into the corner. Another irritable bump attempt. This one will connect. Toxic, looking to go to his flick, top left. Challenge and need to get back to the ball quickly. Swift, wow, very dangerous. Cut into the back corner boost. Something that he's not gonna get away with too many times and he's already been punished. Swift actually had a chance to score there if he could have kept the ball underneath the crossbar. Nice reset. The recoveries have to be so much better if he wants to get away with them against Toxic. Being matchups between those players. But it hasn't looked that way today. Swift, a very solid player. I was talking to some other top North Americans about a match against Swift and for two months. Smiley face right back to you. Swift has started to be a bit more tentative with his aerial game. We saw him attempting it earlier. That's actually a pretty speedy recovery and yet still doesn't matter. Wow. Is that right? Did they play in the swamp? Did I have Swift on that long ago? Toxic with the camera check. Swift is pre-jumping this dribble. He actually connected with the ball. Did he buy himself enough time as that was a very aggressive ceiling challenge? Swift escapes. He needs to recover off of a slight mess up as he flies out of the corner and has his free net. Toxic thought he was going to be able to get a challenge in the stream, but it was 4-2 to the Sam veteran. 
Swift getting faked out by Toxic. Hard to blame him the way Toxic has been flicking much recently. He's been having a lot of RLCS success, my guess, as he's taken a step away from the ones ranked mode. Swift trying to punish Toxic for approaching his corner, and he successfully does. Corner, so now he has 100. Swift thinking about the ceiling challenge, but not sure why. Toxic is nowhere close to having the ball on the ceiling. And instead, he'll just flick over the top of Swift. Very good twos and ones teams as well. But what's important to remember is that despite the additional modes, the majority of games will always be 3v3. At the end of the day, 3v3 will be played the most, even in those crew battles. Swift trying to play defense. Minute 15 left to go. Swift yet to get a lead on a Toxic who has looked completely on form. And Toxic looking for Pogos now. Not normally his kind of offense, but with a minute left to go and a three goal lead, Swift fakes. Oh. Swift not often given a moment to breathe. And when he has, Toxic has had the save as well. This demo should convert for a goal. Oh no, this touch is probably too far. Oh no, should be just fine. And punish Toxic for going for the Pogo goal. Oh, look at this. It will be Swift tying the game. Oh, it won't. Oh, no. Oh, no. He apologizes. Oh, GG's. <laughs> GG Swift. That is an unfortunate way to end it. Toxic with a sweep. Swift. We'll see Swift again. We'll see Swift again. You know, I think he's going to be... Uh, I think he's going to be disappointed with his performance, even though Toxic is just on another level right now. Hopefully we see Swift regain, keep his head in it, because I do think, I mean, 6-7, close matches here and there. He can certainly hang. That was rough.